What's up guys? It's Nasty Nate. We're back at the shop working on the Duramax. Today we are working on fuel lines. So um, it's kind of a mess. I've never actually taken one of these apart. So if you guys just want to look, the fuel lines all basically need to come off and then the injectors which are right there. Um, so I just pulled off one of the main fuel lines that runs uh, across here down to the uh, fuel filter. And then I'm gonna try to get uh, this one off here, which runs to this. It's also, it must be the return for everything because this is the return from the injectors and it goes back this way. And then I guess start doing the injection lines, but I mainly want to get this video just to kind of go back and look where everything is because this thing can get, can get kind of confusing. It's uh, kind of a lot to look at. So I'm going to work on that right now and uh, we'll see how far I get tonight. Um, I'm not really trying to do a whole lot tonight, just kind of over here hanging out. Uh, Jesse's going to work on his BMW wagon, so he's putting brakes on that. I might help him do that, and we might kind of just hang out. Um, so I'll let you know what I get done tonight, and uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. All right, guys, we got all the fuel rails and uh, fuel lines and all that stuff off. So right now... The last thing, or the next thing to pull off is the injectors, which are here. Obviously four on each side. And uh, we are pretty close to taking the valve covers and then the heads off. Um, not really much I can see else to take off. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get that Y bridge piece out. I don't know if I have to take the turbo off or not. I've heard people say, that they don't need to take it off, but it's looking like we might have to because that bolt is like, there's one bolt on right here behind this coolant line. That's like so close to that housing. It doesn't look like it's gonna come out, but uh, I'm probably gonna try to take it out with it, with the turbo still on there. Um, and then I do have to take the exhaust manifolds off, which might be kind of hard to see, but they're on the bottom sides of the head down here. So that's pretty much it, I think. And uh, I think we'll be able to get the heads off sometime this week, and then I can send them out and they will check for pressure, uh, the flatness and um, machine them if they need it if they need to be machined and that is i think 250 bucks which i thought was a pretty good deal so the shop around here that does a bunch of diesel trucks so right now i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna order some parts i'm gonna order the wc fab y bridge kit uh can't decide which color yet so uh hopefully i can figure out which color tonight and then i'm also gonna order a downpipe three inch downpipe and there was something else oh pcv reroute kit which goes right here on the valve cover on this side and over there and that kind of reroutes like uh gases from the inside of the valve covers back into the intake and that's the factory design so you don't want that because it's basically putting like oil and all kinds of crap back into the intake. It goes like over and right into the intake right here. So the PCV reroute um, fixes that and just reroutes it to like the ground, I think, or the air. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna order an LB7 up pipe. Might be hard to see back there, but since I'm doing an EGR delete, I don't need that part of the up pipe. So the LB7 one deletes that. So that will be uh, kind of nice. It won't be like a plate or anything that could go wrong. 
So I kind of got this table organized. This is all the fuel lines. This is actually one coolant line that goes from the water pump down here to the turbo, like under the turbo. I don't know where that actually goes after that, but these are all the injection lines for the driver's side. These are all the injection lines for the passenger side. Then we got the passenger fuel rail, driver fuel rail. Uh, this is the part that holds the uh, fuel filter. Just a random wire that connects on to the uh, CP3, the injection pump. And then there's some random like fuel line uh, holder bracket things. And then this is all the low pressure fuel lines. So this, this line right here is separate. This goes to the fuel filter. And then this goes from the fuel filter and from the injectors, the return on the injectors. So we got all that stuff labeled. And I've got plenty of pictures, so we uh, hopefully can put everything back together correctly. But as always, guys, stay tuned to Nasty Nate. And you guys are going to see this truck very soon up and running after we do a head gasket job on the race cab truck, guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe to Nasty Nate. Have a good one.